I've started a new company called Black's Hire, uh, specialising in intelligent gear. I've been overseas for 20 years and I've seen a lot of new technology and I just think that, you know, it's 2019 now, it's time to look at what's out there and how it can help all the different contractors. So the first machine, I've actually got two of these. This is the first one in New Zealand of this size. Um, it's a 14 ton zero swing Komatsu intelligent excavator. So what that means is a lot of people know the uh, GPS systems, this is a step above it. So what it does is it's semi-autonomous, meaning once you've set in the program, whether you've designed it yourself in the cab, there's a big screen there, you can design, it's pre programs flat slopes, uh, angled slopes, roads, crown roads, ditches, trenches, right through to topographical um, survey saving and drawing your own drawings off it, or you can upload the, the USB from the surveys. And it means once you've programmed it, you've set it, you set, hit semi-autonomous mode and it cannot overdig. So you can see here Josh has been trimming up, that's his first time using the machine. Uh, the, uh, the centre point of the tilt bucket is where it's on grade, you can choose left to right but we've got it on centre so you still need to have a little bit of bucket trim but other than that you can see it tidies up perfectly. The hardest thing is getting used to trusting the computer more than yourself. It's on grade more than you think it is. So it means for contractors who have got uh, struggling to get good operators, it makes an average operator good or a bad operator average, even better. So just trying to get contractors and, and people to do things, look at it a bit differently and trying to um, put the right capital in the right place. Yeah, went relatively pretty good. First time on a GPS machine um, after 15, 20 minutes of training. Um, she was good to go, um, cut perfectly to grade. Definitely a time saver. You can see the cost savings in it straight away. You're not over digging, you're not wasting fuel, you're not taking extra spoil away or bringing extra aggregate back in. It just cuts perfectly to grade. You can put slopes in it, you can do ditches, you can do batters. But, um, yeah, it really is the one-stop shop really when it comes to digging and cutting to grade. I'd highly recommend it for really for anyone who's needing machines to cut perfectly to grade at any time. Definitely the bigger machines if you're cutting a house pad, if you're working with builders, if you're doing roading, if you're doing drainage, um, anything where you really need to be where your tolerances are quite low. Um, you know if, if you're working to a 20, 20 30 mil tolerance and um, even if you haven't do falls for drainage and you, you've got very fine tolerances, then this is the kind of machine you want on your site. And yeah, it'll cut perfectly to grade every time. Now, in, in the mode it's in now, it's the same as a normal GPS system. It's got your 3D different, your bucket, your stroke, your angles, your depth. When I push this button, it goes semi-autonomous. Now, it's in semi-autonomous mode, so when I my down lever stops at the cut, and as I'm pulling in, the computer overrides the hydraulics and does the up and down of the boom. So basically, I'm just pulling in here. Now, when we're setting it up, we can choose the center of the bucket or the left or the right as the data point. I like to use the center. It just means that when you are, if the machine's not sitting exactly level and as you back up on something, you might feel a bit of a tilt, you can just touch the tilt to adjust a wee bit manually so you don't get any little edge lines from the, from the bucket. But other than that, that's it. It's pretty simple. Um, and I feel that in the future you're going to get to a situation that uh, clients are going to ask for machines that can do a perfect job because you're not over digging that extra 10, 15, 20 mil accidentally and trucking it all away. And in the same time, if you've over dug 5, 10, 20 mil, you're not trucking another 20 mil of aggregate back in to fill in the hole. So the efficiencies, less time on site, better job, cleaner job, it's just the way of the future, in my opinion.